We started by selecting one corner to be the first corner that we set up the batter boards. And then from there, we set up the rest of them. There are a few things to consider when setting up batter boards. You have to think about the location and the height. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. After we mark the ground, we dig the holes with the excavator. Uh, notice how some of them are a little bit sideways and that's okay. That's just the way that I was able to get the excavator. And after I dug the holes with the excavator, I went back with the shovel and got them a little bit more square and a little bit more level. Scene. <laughs> all right today's the day we're trying to pour concrete on the piers but we just had such uh, bad weather uh, it's been raining uh, you can see the the holes got uh, filled with water we did cover them as much as we could uh, but it's just super muddy right now and it's very slippery uh, so we're gonna have to try to make the best that we can Like butter. <laughs> uh, the goal is to use the two by fours to hold it in place and level it before we start pouring. Uh, we wanted to purchase some of those uh, plastic uh, footings that you put at the bottom, but they didn't have them in stock, so uh, we're just gonna go without it. Uh, I hope this works out. We have everything aligned. Um, we have strings for the center, and I think we're ready to go. All right, we did one row of the sonotubes. Uh, this is taking us longer than we thought, uh, but at least we got this one side and they all look pretty lined up to me. Uh, we'll see, I'm pretty sure that when we pour the concrete, uh, they're going to shift a little bit. So we have to keep an eye on it. You can see the yellow string, how steep this is here. So that made it a little bit difficult. And when we were trying to figure out the, the measurements, it really does throw you off, so you have to be careful. You have to make sure that that you're level, and then you use a plumb to uh, find where the center is. Uh, so it can be very tricky. It's not that it's not that easy. Not super complicated, but it's not it's not super easy either. Beautiful.
right, I think we're ready. Now we just have to get the concrete from here all the way up there. finished the last one on just the first row uh it took us the entire day just to do one row but um but it's it's done and right now i'm just i just finished putting the the anchor and it's looking pretty nice look at that that looks beautiful Clean it up a little bit all the bolts are aligning all the anchors so I think we're good. I have it sticking out about, I would say maybe an inch and a half. Uh, I think you only need maybe three quarters of an inch, but I'd rather just have it a little bit longer and then just cut it later. Uh, sometimes these things, they'll sink in a little bit. And uh, the last thing I want is not to have a bolt. So, but I think we're good. We left the middle road for the end and for multiple reasons. One, we just didn't really had a lot of time to be able to pour all of them. But then second, it helped us to 
be able to run a string all the way from the first row to the last and be able to know where to center the middle ones. Here are all the piers already completed uh, and we cleaned up the site a little bit. Uh, we're happy how it came out. The next thing we have to do is start cutting the posts, uh, put brackets on, and then go from there. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.